Namaste and welcome back to the next session of Prop It Up with me, Nishtha Bishlani. Today's session is designed to make you feel refreshed and energized. We're going to be focusing on vinyasas. Vinyasas are a sequence of asanas rhythmically put together one after the other. It is flow based, more movement based and is going to leave you feeling instantly recharged. So I hope you're ready. We'll begin the session and I also want you to stay tuned for a very important health tip that's going to come right at the end of the session. So let's first get started by warming up, by centering ourselves. So make sure you come in a cross leg position, sit comfortably on the mat. Start by rolling your shoulders to the back, lift your spine. You may turn your palms up and then once you're ready and stable, slowly close your eyes. We start by centering ourselves here. Just using the time here to slow down to build that connection with the body, with the breath. Noticing how you are seated, your posture and spine. Noticing your breath. Taking the last few moments here to really empty out your mind and coming to the present moment here. Gently when you're ready, blinking your eyes to open up. Let's get started with a little warm up. We'll start with a little neck movement first. We'll begin by taking the chin down to the chest and then inhale to look up. Coming to the center, turn your head to the right, change to the left and back again. Chin down to chest, inhale and up. Center, turn it to your right, change to your left and back. One last time, take the chin down to chest, inhale and up, center, turn it to your right and to your left. Great, and come back. Now let's move on to some shoulder rolls. We'll take the shoulders rolling back. Nice and big circles here. Start to free up the space between your neck shoulders. Notice if that part feels held up tightly. Really just releasing it all out. And then after a few circles, roll it forward the same way. And then again, one last time, completely circle it out. Drop the shoulders down. Great. We'll go for a few shoulder shrugs here. Take the shoulders up to the ears and make it sit down. You can even keep your hands on the sides, up with the shoulders and press it down. Notice the drop up with the shoulders and drop it down. You don't even realize sometimes we constantly have our shoulders worked up like this when we're working. So it's time to be aware. Let the shoulders sit one last time up and exhale, making your shoulders sit down. Very nice. Now let's move into some lateral bends. We're going to slide the hand out on one side and take the other hand coming up, bending the body. And up, change and bending it. Come back again, laterally bending to the side and to the other. Last round, bending to the side and one more time. Great. And come back to the center. Now let's take both the hands up, moving in for seated twists. So while you're in the same position, you will take your right hand going to the left and taking the left hand going behind on the mat. Rotate your body nicely with the trunk. Hold. Three, two, one. 
come back up again and twist hand against the knee and rotate hold 3 2 1 and let's make the movement a little faster twist to both sides slightly more dynamic and every time you twist just exhaling softly out and last round great and come back to the center now let's come in a kneeling position in balasan okay so sitting on your heels keeping the feet flat and let's slide the hands out forward reaching ahead and rest your head in hold and then slowly lift your gaze up look towards your fingers on the fingertips walking your hand onto the right side diagonally twisting in balasan and change walking to the other side and diagonally twisting come back to the center rest your head down for a second and slowly lift your head up now looking towards your fingers we're going to lift up in adho mukha svanasan or downward facing dog and tuck the toes push the ground as you lift up coming up nicely pressing the ground now notice if you feel that the back is rounding then you will on, want to bend the knees here bending the knees and pushing the hip up to straighten your spine let's hold it here for 5 4 3 2 1 and one slowly drop down and back into balasan take a breath we'll go back again and then lift the head up tuck toes and let's pick it back up up and back into adho mukha svanasan let's stay and staying here 1 2 3 4 now we want to bend the knees in towards the chest chest towards the knees and then move away so meeting in the center and then opening away continue with me meeting in the center open away meeting the knee and the chest and the center and out again two more times meeting in the center and back out one more time meeting in the center and back out then drop your knees down again for a quick rest in balasan and then slowly lift your head and we'll go back back into downward dog this time you're going to take the right leg up first opening into three legged downward dog then we'll go for the left so tuck your toes pick the body up and from here let's slowly open the right leg up towards the ceiling point your toes nice and high even here you can keep your knee bent if needed and we'll hold for 1 2 3 4 Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and dropping it down. Switching the leg as you take the left leg up. Point your toes and hold. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9 10 and drop the leg down once again slowly come down to rest in balasan relax here great now we're going to go back into downward dog in the three legged version that you just did and in that you're going to add a little twist with the leg so we'll do it together once again coming into downward dog picking the right leg up now from here you want to bend the knee rotate open from the hip and make sure the knee is trying to point up towards the ceiling and we'll stay here for another 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 
9 10 and drop that leg down in case you are tired take a moment and rest in and we will prepare to switch for the left side let's go left leg going up point your toes bend the knee and rotate from the hip holding 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 and slowly then coming back down rest once again in balasan relax a few easy breaths let your breathing come back notice your heart rate and then slowly lift your head up and we'll come back one last time in the downward dog and we'll walk it later into uttanasan so lift your body back up push the hip up nicely lengthen the spine stay here for the last five spread your fingers and hold four three two one and let's take small little steps forward going towards the palms reaching up reaching up coming into uttanasan here and inhale look long breathe and exhale bend the knees to fold into uttanasan again inhale first look long in urdhva uttanasan and exhale to fold into uttanasan last time inhale open and look long and exhaling folding in Great. Now from here, we will keep the left palm in front of the left foot. Bend the left knee. Make sure your heel is not coming up. Keep your right leg straightened out and open up your right hand and stay here. Holding five, four, three, two, one. Great. Change. Place the right palm down. Bend the right knee and completely open up your left side. Holding five more four three two one and come back in great and just hug yourself into uttanasan bend the knees and then inhale swinging the arms up exhale slowly coming back into tadasan take a few seconds reset yourself here and gently then open up your eyes great so we're through with the warm-ups and we're going to get started with the main postures and we're going to get started first with Surya Namaskars so before we move into more vinyasas which will be Hatha based vinyasas we we'll start off with classical Hatha Surya Namaskars so let's first come to the top of the mat feet together make sure you're right at the top feet are joining and begin with me taking palms into chest we'll start the first side inhale and extend your arms up exhale to fold in and then stepping your right leg to the back drop the knee in take a breath stepping the left leg back drop your knee chest chin down ashtang namaskar rising up halfway into bujangasan bent elbows pick the body up into Adhomukhashwanasan, downward facing, take a breath. And then stepping your right foot forward between the palms, drop your knee in, take a moment. And then slowly, left foot forward, feet together, fold into Uttanasan. Join your palms, extend open arms. And exhaling, bring the hands by the sides. Take a second here. And we'll change into the left side. Join palms again. Inhale and open up. Exhale, folding in. And stepping left leg back. Dropping your knee down. Take a moment. And stepping right leg back. Ashtang Namaskar. Rising up Bhujangasan with bent arms. Pick the body back up. Into Adho Mukhashwanasan. Downward facing. Stepping left foot forward between palms, drop your knee in. And stepping right foot forward, feet together, folding in. 
and extend the arms up inhale exhale bringing the hands back down take a moment and breathe so here we have finished the first round we'll get ready for the second round make sure not to rush mindfully moving from one posture to another palms joining in inhale extend open exhale folding in as you step right leg back space out drop the knee in step left back ashtang namaskar and rise up bhujangasan bend arms breathe slowly pick the body back up and moving into adho mukha take a moment and let's step right foot forward drop the knee and step left forward feet together folding in joining the palms up inhale exhale tadasan take a second here and preparing yourself for the left side joining palms into chest inhale and open up exhale folding in and stepping left leg back drop the knee in step right leg back ashtang namaskar rise up bhujangasan half way only and then press to lift up into adho mukha let's bring the left foot between the palms drop your knee in and stepping right forward feet together fold in and lift the body up inhale exhale take a moment and breathe here now we finished two rounds of surya namaskar and we're going to do one last time the third round let's begin again on the right side joining palms inhale exhale folding in stepping the right leg back stepping the left leg back ashtang namaskar rising into bhujang pick it back up adho mukha and stepping right foot between palms drop your knee in step left foot feet together folding in joining the palms up inhale exhale hands by the sides there in tadasan and preparing for the last side on the left join your palms in inhale exhale to fold in stepping left leg back drop the knee in stepping right leg back ashtang namaskar rising up bhujang picking the body back up into adho mukha stepping the left foot forward between palms drop the knee in and step right leg feet together folding in joining palms up exhale coming into tadasan take a few moments here breathe reset allow the breath to come back and then when you're ready gently open your eyes with that we've completed three full rounds of surya namaskar now let's move on to the next which is going to be a vinyasa sequence the first vinyasa so move along with me it's going to be a movement of one posture to another to another in a beautiful transition we'll start off with tadasan so being to the top of the mat staying right here at the front once you have your feet together let's take the hands on the waist and from here pick the right knee up and take a big step back nicely space out make sure you have a good distance so the back knee stay straight and here we come into ashta chandrasan high lunge raising the arms up shoulders relaxed and let's stay holding another 4 3 Two, one. Now that we have the right leg at the back, we're going to twist the body to the left side and rotating in Ashta Chandrasan, splitting your arms open and holding the twist here. And let's stay another four, three, two, one. And let's join the palms in here. Lean forward and hook your elbow, your opposite elbow, right against the left knee, and hold in Parivrta Parshva Konasan. Another four. 
one slowly then drop your hands in and rest your back knee in and coming into ashwasan chalan let's stay now the four three two and one moving from here into parshva kon watch my back foot i'm lifting it up turning placing the foot flat and placing my left palm against the left foot and raising the right hand up let's hold 5 4 3 2 and bring it back down very nice and place the hands pull the foot back ashtang namaskar rising up bhujang pick the body up back into adho mukha shwanasan hold it last four three two one and raise your right leg open for a three legged downward dog and bend the knee bring it all the way forward place the foot between the palms if your foot doesn't reach use your hand shift it forward drop the knee in and allow the back foot to be flattened out taking the hands here on your thigh for anjani asan open chest away let's hold now the four Three, two, one, and bring the hands down. Feet together, folding into uttanasan. Joining your palms up. Open. Inhale. Exhale. Come back into tadasan. Take a moment. Now we finish the right side. Catch your breath. We'll do the same thing on the left side. Now the full breath here. All right. Let's get ready. Hands on the waist. Let's pick the left knee up. Nice and high. Point your toes and take a big step back coming into Ashtachandrasan. Make sure back foot is on the toes, heel is lifted, body facing forward four more. 3 2 and 1. Then let us twist here, opening the arms out and hold. Now the four Three, two, one. Let's join the palms and take the elbow against the knee, and let's stay here. Back knee is straightened out. Check my hands in a prayer twist. Four more. Three, two, one. And slowly then bringing your hands down, and we will drop the knee here into Ashwa Sanchalan. Allow your back foot to flatten out, and let's hold. Looking forward. Now the four. Three, two, and one. Great. Tuck the toes. Remember, we have Parshva Konasan coming up next. Allow the heel to come down flat, taking the right palm on the inside of the right foot. Bend that knee. Open the left hand. Keep the back foot pressing strongly, and staying. Last four, three, two. One, and slowly bring the hands down. Step the leg at the back. Ashtang Namaskar. Rising up there, Bujang. Pick the body up. Coming into downward facing dog. Hold. Last four, three, two, and one. We will then slowly raise the left leg up. Nice and high. Bend the knee. Bring it through, through, through. Place the foot forward. Make sure you have it between the palms. Drop your knee at the back. Rest the foot and moving into Anjani Asan. Release the hands very slowly. Get it onto the thigh. Move your chest open. Let's stay. Last four, three, two, and one. Slowly then, bringing your hands down. Tuck toes. Step the leg forward. Feet together. Fold into Uttanasan. and raising the hands up exhale bringing the hands by the sides there in tadasan take a moment and breathe allow your breath to come back nicely reset yourself here and when you're ready gently then open up your eyes 
with that we've completed vinyasa 1 and we're going to shortly move into vinyasa number 2 now before we move on let's first understand why we're we trying to focus so much on alignment in this program what is the importance of alignment now when we practice asanas on the mat everything that you practice here finds its way back into your life the posture gets corrected here and that reflects back in your daily life when you're sitting when you're working when you're standing moving around all of that comes along with you you are carrying it in the form of muscle memory so everything that you build here finds its way into your daily life that is why alignment here will also fix your posture and alignment in daily life now the only way to go about is through external realignment can we work towards mental realignment that's when clarity prevails it has an impact on your attitudes your emotions you stand tall you walk with confidence it adds to your personality other than that it also has an amazing physiological impact your respiration your digestion and all other processes in the body start getting positively impacted now we're going to make this whole process a lot smoother with props in this program which you're going to see from the next session onwards so moving on now to our next vinyasa vinyasa number 2 are you ready we'll begin let's first start by having a little distance between our feet space out your feet nicely and have a good distance for about 3 3 and a half to 4 feet start by keeping it parallel hands on the waist now before we get started with the first posture of this vinyasa have a look at your feet making sure that you are having them placed parallelly toes facing forward toes spreading open remember the first session toes spreading open and hands on the waist shoulders relaxed now from here we will begin with the right side turning the right foot open fully open make sure it's not half but entirely open and from here we're going to move into veer badrasan 2 together warrior 2 bending the knee in the direction of the toes and make sure you have a good distance so that the knee the hip can come in in the same level open the arms shoulders relaxed let's hold looking to the hand in the front with me another four three two and one let's take it down elbow on to the thigh and allowing the hand to come overhead as we come in here for ardha parshva konasan another four three two one then slide your hand all the way down if possible if it's too much continue keeping your hand on the thigh and let's stay another four breaths three two and one then coming up take a second to straighten that knee only so we bend it again and move into humble warrior or badha veer badrasan diagonally folding in interlacing the fingers behind keep the knee bent another four breaths 3 2 and 1 slowly push with that foot and come back up take a second you might be feeling that burning great no problem and we go back into bending this knee this time we're going to go into a bind in parshvakon so taking your elbow under the thigh holding the fingers behind and even if you can't it's okay just take the hands around last four three two one push with your right foot up and straighten let the sensation pass you may be feeling it really strongly no problem now from here we'll get that foot a bit closer and moving into trikonasana slowly bending let the hand rest on the leg stay with me now the four three two one slowly come back and once again bend that knee as we go into reverse warrior viprit veer badrasan and now the four three two and one slowly pull back up and now we're going to get both the feet to come in a v shape as we go into the wide leg squat utkata konasan having both the feet come in a v shape toes pointing out and going into utkata konasan pushing the hip back and bending the knees in the direction of the toes palms joining in and yet another four three two 
one push through the feet come rising back up hands on the waist and turn your feet parallel now once again toes facing forward moving into prasarita padodanasan hands on the waist elbow squeezed in lift the chest inhale exhale fold forward and being here you can get your hands down on the mat and let's stay another four three two one inhale to look up hands on the waist and slowly bring the body back up very nice take a second allow your breath to come back if you're panting take a few easy breaths and let's prepare to do the same thing on the left side so the distance is already maintained take a second when you're ready turn the left foot open are you ready beginning into virabhadrasan 2 or warrior 2 starting on the left side as you bend the knee in the direction of the toes let's open up the arms shoulders relaxed and looking to the hand in the front let's be here another four three two one and let's bend into ardha parshva kon taking the hand overhead nicely extending let's stay last four three two one and drop your palm down near the foot all the way if it's too much keep it on the thigh and four more three two one as you push up back take a second to straighten the knee once again bend the knee interlace fingers going into badha virabhadrasan humble warrior and folding diagonally last four Three, two, one. Push with that front foot and pick your body up, creating that strength in the leg. Take a second as we go back in here. Preparing yourself for the bind. Bend the knee and open your hands and take your elbow going under the thigh, binding in. Keep your hip low and press your chest open. Last four, three, two. one and press through that front foot to slowly come up feet are firmly pressing in and now moving into trikonasan in case you've gone too wide reduce the distance and dropping down with straight knees into trikonasan last four three two one and pull yourself back up bend that knee going into reverse warrior viprit virabhadrasan Check how my hand slides back. Front knee stays bent, and hold it here. Four, three, two, one. Come back in. Straighten that leg. Hands on the waist, and let's have both the feet turning out in a V shape. Yes. Check the distance. Knees will bend in the direction of the toes for Utkata Konasan. Squat back. Palms joining in, and let's be here. And another four, three. Two, one, and push through the feet to rise up. Take a second. Hands on the waist. Let's turn the feet in parallel. And once you have your feet parallel, squeeze your elbows in. Open the chest and exhale. Let's fold the body in. And then slowly place your hands on the mat, folding in here, holding for the last four, three, two. and one inhale to look up first take the hands on the waist and slowly bring your body back up and with that we have finished both the sides of vinyasa 2 now from here we're going to slowly bring the feet coming in close into each other and make our way down into malasan so as you can see my feet have come much closer they're in a v shape we're going to squat back so pushing from the hip as you can see not from the knees pushing back from the hip slowly get your hands on the mat bending the knees and coming down into the full yogic squat if your feet can't stay flat simply go on the toes completely fine now let's set ourselves here elbows pushing the knees out joining palms and lengthening your spine let's stay here a few easy breaths you may choose to close your eyes notice how it feels all the sensations that you are experiencing just staying aware keeping the spine tall
and then very slowly open your eyes, release and we're going to come down into a seated position. You can straighten your legs out here and come into Dandasan. From here, we're going to move into cooling down the body now. So once you've set yourself in Dandasan, just check how you are seated. You may pull the butt muscle out, out on the side. Find the sit bones connecting to the mat. Roll the shoulders and be nice and tall. Hands can be on the palms. Make sure your toes are curled in and holding your Dandasan here. Chin is parallel to your legs. Easy few breaths. Make sure you don't lose the feet. Toes are curled in. Very nice. And let's take the hands going up here in Dandasan. Inhale and hold. Stay with me for a few easy breaths. Shoulders are relaxed. Eyes are soft. Make sure you're breathing. With your hands lifted, notice how the breath is moving all over in the chest, in the diaphragm. And then slowly exhale, bring the hands back down. Great. Now we'll support the body with the hands at the back and we're only going to work with some feet movement here. So let's point the toes all the way forward in plantar flexion and curl your toes in dorsiflexion. Keep moving, pointing forward. Take two seconds, then come back, flex it in. And again, point your toes and dorsiflex. Two more times, pointing the toes forward and dorsiflexing it in. Again, point your toes and dorsiflexion in. Very nice and hold that dorsiflexion, the curling of the toes and we'll stay here. You can let go of your hands. Keep that in for five, four, three, two and relax. Yes, very important to give the smaller joints of the body some movement. And we're going to go for circles here, circling clockwise. Two, three, four, and five. Let's go five circles the other way. Point your toes and circle. One, two, three, four, and completing the last circle, come back in. Great. From here, let's pull the right knee in and move into Janu Shirshasan. We're going to place the right foot on the inner thigh of the leg, having the knee pointing to the side, body is facing the leg. Now, make sure that the foot stays dorsiflexed as we raise the hands up. Inhale and move into a forward bend here. Exhale, lengthening your spine, nicely reaching forward. Let the hands reach to the furthest extent. Even if you're not close to the foot, it's perfectly fine. Just keep the chest open. Don't try to force your head down onto the leg, not needed. We rather keep the spine open. Last five here. Four, three, two, one. Inhale, pull the arms, pull the body back up. Hands down and let's get this leg beside the left and we're going to go in a twist from here. So the opposite hand comes in, my left against the right as we go in for a twist here in. Ardha Matsendra Asan, flexing the other foot in, supporting the hand at the back and let's hold. Five, four, three, two, one and slowly release, come back, straighten this leg out. Let's repeat Janu Shishasan on the other side, pull the knee in, placing your left foot against the right inner thigh, raising your arms up, inhale. And exhale, reaching forward, nice and long. Find the furthest extension you can. Keep your chest open, gazing a little bit forward to the toes. And hold it. Five more. Four. Three. Two. One. Inhale to come up. Exhale, relax the hands, take the leg back in and we go in for the twist here, opposite hand, up, inhale, fixing the elbow in and hold. Let's stay here. Last five, four, three, two, one and slowly returning back to the center. Great. Now we'll come a little forward on the mat. 
We're going to hug the legs in and go for a few rolls in Pavan Muktasan. So holding onto the legs here and rolling back. Use the momentum to go up and back. Inhale. Exhale to sit up. Let's go again. Another three to four times. Nicely massage the back. And one more time. And then we will go back slowly onto the mat. Allowing your knees to stay bent. First get your back to rest. Come into a neutral position here. Adjust your body. Great. Once you feel ready, then we will take both the knees coming into chest, holding onto the toes and moving here into Anand Balasan. So as you can see, my feet are facing up to the ceiling. Legs are in a right angle. And I'm also trying to ensure that my hip and lower back stay connected to the mat. From here, we will start swaying the body left to right, right to left. Nicely massaging your back. And then come back to the center and hold this as a still position. We'll be here for the last five. Great. And releasing the legs. Let's open into Yashtikasan. Pulling the arms upward. Toes pointing forward in two opposite directions. Nice and long. Elongating your spine. And then slowly exhale. Bringing the hands by the sides here. We're going to move in for Shavasan. Adjust your body. Just check how your spine is rested, how your legs are spaced out. And once you've made the changes to your body, you'll first place one palm onto the belly and one hand by the side. Now by placing the palm onto the belly, we're going to connect to our breath. Watching how the breath moves into the abdomen as you breathe. Notice how this connection is helping you also relax the rest of your body. Allowing your breaths to be slow, easy. There is no rush here. Inhaling fully. Exhaling fuller. Allowing your exhalations to be slightly longer here. Notice with longer exhalations how you start to relax even better. The feeling of the entire body melting into the mat, getting pulled by the gravitational force, reminding yourself to surrender to the here and now, to the most important posture, Shavasana. Continue to be here for the last few breaths. Gently then moving your fingers and toes. Slowly start to bend your knees one at a time. Rolling over to your right side. Take a moment on the side and then slowly push up. Continue to keep your eyes closed. Come to sit up in a cross leg position first. Once you're ready, we'll take the palms joining into chest and end the practice with three chants of foam together. Take a full breath here.
slowly rub your palms cupping it to your eyes to your face gently then open up your eyes thank you very much i hope you feel refreshed energized because i surely do thank you so much for joining i hope you enjoyed the session i want to share a very important health tip with you that is movement is medicine now you must have also heard this elsewhere but the reason it's said is that when you move you give your body that necessary blood circulation you give it that necessary prana and energy and that keeps the life force in you thriving it takes care of stagnation it takes care of laziness and lethargy and you're always then left feeling full of life and far away from diseases so i make sure you keep that thought and reflect on it from the next session onwards we're going to be using props so here's a reminder once again to make sure you have certain home props with you such as having a chair a regular chair will do we'll be reading yoga blocks and if you don't have yoga blocks you can also use cushions or pillows and we'll be needing a yoga strap which can also easily be substituted with a dupatta or a scarf remember you need to download the calfit app to be able to access all the sessions this is me nishtha bijlani signing off see you in the next one For more such workout videos, download the Calfit app now. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. We are Cult.